Welcome to Pro Tradecraft's Weatherization Nation, the show about building smart from the start. Last week, we were installing a rain screen product from Tyvek called Drain Vent. It creates a drainage space behind the siding so any water sneaking back there can be directed down and away from the house. This week, we're headed inside to do some air sealing and thermal bridge breaking. One thing that Mark IV Builders does on every large-scale renovation project is to test in and test out with a blower door. It helps to quantify how much they tighten up a home and it also helps to identify any big air leaks in the existing structure. After air sealing the new structure, but before the drywall goes up, they run another blower door test to look for any leaks that they've overlooked. Today, Mike Beverly's gonna show us how to use a two-part froth pack to spray closed cell foam over some masonry thermal nosebleeds. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna start off by shaking part B. Get that nice and shook up. There we go. Start the connection process. I'm gonna make sure these are nice and tight. to gently turn these on. And you notice the liquid flowing through the tube. Be sure to open it nice and slowly so if that there's any leaks, you can catch them, turn the tank off, close it off or it's too messy. And you'll see air get in the line. You'll have to purge it after you open up both valves. Yep, now I'm opening them all the way. All right, and at this point I will put my safety respirator on. See, it starts out as an uneven mixture, and you want to make sure that you have a good, even mixture. So that's nice and primed and ready for a go. Mike begins at the bottom of the cavity, sweeping the nozzle back and forth, making sure to hit the inside corner where the masonry meets the studs. Working behind obstacles is a little tricky, but much easier and more effective than relying on baths in areas like this. Now it's time to just let it cure to its tack free, which takes about five minutes. Uh, I think it's fully cured in 20 minutes. Okay. And then I'll go back over it and do like another little spray if it's not puffed out to as far as I need it to. After the foam has expanded as much as it's going to expand, Mike comes back with a handsaw and slices off the excess. This reveals little pockets of opportunity okay. to fill in. I'll get this little section right here and then work my way back up. He also gives the whole stud bay the once over to make sure it's completely full and up to spec before giving the thumbs up. That takes us to the end of the first season of Pro Tradecraft's Weatherization Nation. We followed a brick home in Northwest Washington, D.C. When we arrived, there was an unfortunate two-story addition that had a lot of water problems. After tearing it off the back, Ray and the guys got to detailing the new crawl space to be warm and dry by sealing it with plastic, insulating it with Thermax foam boards, and tightening the edges with Great Stuff Expanding Foam. 
With the addition framed and sheathed, they moved on to installing the Tyvek WRB. Rather than installing it just as a water-resisted barrier, they bumped up the detailing to slow air movement as well. Next, we installed leak-free windows, and then we climbed up on the roof to do some roof flashing and lay down a Protec underlayment in preparation for shingles later. With the roof dried in, we moved back down to the ground and added some water resistance to the outside walls in the form of drain vent, a rain screen product that creates a gap for water leaks to drain away. That brings us back to where we started. With the outside tightened up and ready to drain, we can seal the deal inside using a two-part froth pack to break the major thermal bridges left in this house. At this point, we're ready to hit the road looking for the next weatherization nation project.